Hello and welcome uh, today. So we're going to get into, uh, by, by the way, be sure to like, share and subscribe to the channel if you enjoy this content. But today we're going to do a review of borrowed lenses. So borrowed lenses, this is another step in my journey as a filmmaker, by the way. Um, borrowed lenses seems to be a really good resource for getting equipment. Obviously, it's it's used equipment, and but it's really uh, premium quality. This Canon C70 is something that I've wanted to try. And so I just wanted to give a review of the borrowed lenses um, service and just kind of take and place my first order with you. Now, of course, I'm going to pause the screen. I'm not going to show you my uh, credit card information. So when it gets to that, uh, I will edit that piece out. But uh, anyway, so let's get into this borrow lenses. So first off, you know, they've got this nice, easy search feature. They've got a couple of categories up here. Um, but what what is the program and how does it work? So this is a service where you can rent uh, equipment and it's high end equipment for, you know, typically a period of about seven days. Uh, anywhere from three days to 90 days, if I'm understanding correctly. You can see the retail value of this camera is, is $5,500. So in my estimation, you know, they probably have to rent this thing out successfully about 40 times um, to make the business model work. And then they would have to sell it as used gear for about uh, half the price. So they do rent out equipment and then they do have uh, used gear that they sell uh, off at the end of end of life cycle. The other cool thing here is that there you can see that um, the camera body usually is about fifty five hundred dollars, but they're adding a handle. There's a there's a mount. Uh, there's a cold shoe mount for the microphone that I'm using right now, which is the Sennheiser six hundred. Um, and and they basically they're providing you with a battery uh, and a charger, so everything that you would need really to use the camera. Um, Obviously, I, I don't think they're sending you a memory card. They're going to assume that you have your own memory card already and lights and, and things of that nature. But in terms of what you need to capture um, film, they're sending you some pretty good uh, uh, items. Now, I have some EF lenses, so I'm going to need this EF to R mount. And, you know, I'm just going to I have to add that to the cart for the 16th through the 23rd. So that's pretty smart. I really like that, um, that I've got this in the cart for September 16th through the 23rd. And that's gonna cost me $40 for seven days for that mount. Um, I'm starting to see where they make <laughs> some of their revenue. $40 for seven days for a mount is a considerable amount of money. Now, of course, there's some risk involved in this, but um, you know, if I, if I was rent, if I was going to rent a gimbal, um, a gimbal, I think is like 59 or $60. So that, that pricing is in my mind, that's a little unfair for something that simple, uh, $40 for seven days. But anyways, let's, let's take a look at it. So basically they've got a free cancellation. If you cancel within a 24 hour period, um, and then, you know, renting from, unfortunately, a lot of the renting information you have to find on their blog. And so officially, some of their equipment does require a deposit. Um, the rental period starts as soon as you receive the unit. So the, the first delivery attempt is what starts your lease. Um, so if UPS shows up and you don't receive it, and you wait for a day, you know, to get it from UPS, or you're not able to get it, then you've lost a day, you know, of, of filmmaking. Returning the gear, it's got to go back in the same uh, UPS packaging, and with the uh, with the labels that they actually printed out. So you got to be very careful. Make sure you use the correct labels that they sent over. Again, the cancellation process. Give them 24 hour notice for a cancellation. And then a deposit, we're going to learn about deposits here in a moment, but it seems pretty reasonable. It seems like they want to try to avoid deposits as much as they can. So, um, you know, they're saying more than 99% of the orders 
don't require a deposit. And then some of the very expensive gear. The question is, what is the determination of very expensive? Um, we're going to find that out here in a minute. But uh, and then, of course, they've got they said you can call their verifications department directly. So it looks like they, they want to communicate very well. Seems like a good company, you know, uh, energetic folks. And this, this is a major trust relationship. You know, I mean, you, you have some delicate gear. For me, the number one concern is what happens if UPS damages the camera, shipping it to my house. And that's something that's kind of, you know, giving me pause. But at the same time, I have had other cameras shipped to my house uh, that I bought. I've had a drone camera. I've had a, a GoPro and things like that. And if they're packed properly, then, then typically they're pretty safe. So let's look at this full deal. Um, so I'm looking today, currently it's September the 12th. I'm looking to receive this camera body on the 16th. I've got the EF. Um, EF to R lens adapter for it. So I can use my, my Canon EF lenses, which I have three, um, which the, the best lens I have currently is not that great. It's just a 50 millimeter 1.4. If you're familiar with that, it's, it's okay. You know, it's a $400 lens, but uh, okay. So let's go ahead and add to cart and see what that does. View cart. Okay, so we've got a shotgun microphone. I don't need that because I'm using I'm using a microphone that's superior to that. Um, Blue Mini male to female XLR cable and XLR male to female cable. No, I don't I don't see that I'm going to need those either. Okay, so let's view the cart. All right, and $423.79 damage waiver. So what does that mean? Damage waiver explained. Maximum protection from liability. Let's go ahead and blow this up. Gear Guard Pro full value waiver, maximum protection from liability due to unintentional damage or loss, including theft and liquid damage after the same after the same 12% deductible. Drop something you protected, just kick 12% deductible for any unintended damage. Uh, and then the no damage waiver. Any damage or loss gear is completely on you to pay or repair or replace, yikes. Damage waiver, okay. So clear guard damage waiver, $73. Clear guard pro full value waiver, maximum protection. Here's the thing, um, drop something you protected, just kick it in a 12% deductible for any unintended damage. So I'm not understanding, and tell me if I'm missing something, but I really don't understand what level of damage waiver I'm purchasing here. Um, rental qualifies for free two-day shipping. So I think, I believe anything over, two, or anything over $150 on a rental qualifies for free two-day shipping. Um, Print quote, save for later, check out ad promotions. Check out to add promotions, which I do have a promotional coupon. So the great thing is they give you a 20% off coupon to start things out. And let's see, free shipping. Yeah, there we go. So anything um, $149 plus gets free two business day shipping. Now, they can, I believe this is gonna come right to my house. Uh, and then when I need to return it, I just take it back to a local UPS store. 
Uh, now the maps feature on their website is not working great because I tried to look up my local UPS store and I couldn't. Now, obviously I can do that on, uh, I can do that on Google, but if I was gonna give a, a little bit of feedback to their site admin, um, that would be one of the things. Now the damage waiver, again, it's unclear. I mean, any damage or lost gear completely on you to pay or replace. So I, I don't really understand the debt, how the damage waiver works. Um, it looks like they're making the damage waiver mandatory, which is, that's fine. If, if I have a 12% deductible, so basically, am I getting the clear guard pro full value waiver or am I just getting this clear guard damage waiver? They really need to label this properly because um, I would assume it's the clear guard damage waiver, that it's the middle tier. So let's let's assume that that's the deal that we're that we're making here. Um, in essence, uh, unintentional damage or loss, theft, liquid damage. So all I have to do basically is prevent, you know, not let someone steal it, not let it get um, not let it get rained on. Um, but if I if I dropped it and damaged it they would cover uh, 80, 88% of the cost. So they did list the retail value on here. Um, so the question is, what is my liability under this current structure? Uh, and that is, let's, let's just round it off to $5,500. So let's look at what my liability is if I drop it, which I don't plan to. Um, $5,500. Whoops. Let's, uh, let's put in the right number, shall we? Okay. And we're going to multiply that by 0.12. All right. So if I drop this camera, it would cost me $660 on my end to pay the insurance, uh, deductible for this waiver. That's my understanding of this lease agreement. Um, now, if, if it ends up that this is what I'm covered for and there was a theft, then I guess 660 would be what I would be paying um, in that regard. So not, not a bad deal. It's, it's smart. I mean, from a business standpoint, I completely understand this because they're, they're putting out a lot of risk. I mean, they're basically they're becoming Netflix, um, Netflix for creating Netflix movies. I mean, this, the camera, this C70 camera body is a Netflix approved camera for, you know, it's around six grand and it creates, you know, true 4K cinema. Um, there's a lot of things that it does. It has um, neutral density filters in it. Uh, I do wish that the uh, that the equipment page showed you know more of the features, or maybe I just didn't look closer at that. Maybe let's take a look at that. We can always come back to the cart. So, okay, yeah, uh, diameter, RF mount, thirty super thirty five sensor. Uh, dual gain output, which I, I believe the dual gain allows you to have better low light. Yeah, read out two different amplifications for clean details. Less blowout in the highlights and, and better details in low light situations, if I'm understanding correctly. Um, 4K at 120 frames per second. Um, Ultra high speed uh, SD card recording, relay information, 4K MP4 files, okay. Canon uh, log two and log three capture, uh, premium quality natural skin tones, dual pixel uh, EOS, vertical shooting option. That I love that because I do have a. I do have a slider and I wanted to get some uh, vertical shots with the slider, some pole shots, uh, establishing shots. 
uh, squeeze anamorphic lenses, user assignable buttons, with exceptions, image quality, massively adaptable controls. Okay, so you know what? I, I, um, I'm gonna take back what I said about the lack of detail on the product page. They've got some really good detail here. So uh, I just wanna be completely fair in this review. Uh, let's see, what do they got for notes? Um, there are no notes on this product. So right here would be a good section for them to put in what, what, the, uh, what the damage waiver covers, whether it's the full or just the drop. And I assume it's the drop. Rental includes, maybe this will tell us. Uh, okay, so we get the camera body, we get the handle, the microphone holder, the body cap, that's good. Prevent dust and anything from getting into that. Shoulder strap, the battery, uh, the battery charger, power adapter, and a carrying case. So that's that's pretty well, you know, read and understood. Um, one of the things that we know that we need, I have an SSD drive. I have a handful of, of extreme, you know, video recording uh, uh, excess. Um, oh, let me see. The, uh, let me look at the standard here for the for the card as far as the video capture. Mechanical, there we go. Mechanical ND filters, pretty amazing. And I can do a review of the camera, you know, when I get it as well. Uh, LUT support, this is really powerful. I, I love the idea of this. I was gonna buy one, but I, I just, you know, seeing this service that they have where I can, I can jump in and I can play with this camera for seven days and and really put it through the paces and then just send it back and and if i'm not happy with it i'm not committed that is an amazing service the other thing is i want to start production on the sinner's cup and you know i am um you know we're going to be i want to be casting for that in in um the spring so i would actually be able to, to film with equipment from these guys i've got all my lights i've got all my sound equipment all I need are the cinema camera bodies. And if I can rent this for 90 days and I can do a, a 90 day shoot of the Sinner's Cup and I just need to buy my locations and my actors. I know that sounds bad, I'm not buying my actors, but you know, pay my actors, feed my actors. Um, it really helps with the costs and it really helps me with the paper trail uh, on my taxes as a business owner to have this documentation. You know, what was my cost of camera for the project it's all going to be documented here hopefully they have a way to download the invoices into you know into quickbooks and stuff like that if not that's fine um i can make do with it but at least like a csv uh file output of all my expenditures here so that i would be really nice is is expenditures by project so if i can allocate my equipment to a certain project. Typically it's gonna be a timeline. So uh, as long as I could get invoices from this date to this date, then I would know that all those expenses applied to that project. Uh, and that would help me out on my taxes, that would help me out on my accounting, um, accountability going back to you know the studios and, and things of that nature. Um, anyways, uh, great sensor. So ultra high speed to SD card slots, dual ultra high speed to SD card slots for simultaneous relay recording. And those are 4K, uh, XF, AVC. Okay, SD card slots. And, and I assume, let me just look at that. I've got one of these right here. Um, you probably heard that disconnect. So the SanDisk um, SDXC card, I believe, is what we're talking about. So I have at least one of those 256 gigabytes. And if I'm recording at 4K, that's, that's going to last a significant amount of time. So, I mean, at, at least some, some good morning shoots and evening shoots. So I'm, I'm covered. Uh, and again, I, I know this is taking a little bit of time, but I'm trying to walk you through the entire checkout process with me so that we understand uh, all those anxieties you might feel 
about you know going through a service like this for the first time. So let's go through the checklist. I have data storage, right? They're sending me, um, I, they're not including a lens and that's a really good uh, image of that. So I've got my adapter for the lens. I'm not particularly happy with the price on that, but you know what? To play around with a $6,000 camera for seven days, um, the price of $320, I, I really like that. Um, I know, you know, for some people, they might not get everything out of it, but I know that I will get the use out of it. Um, and so we're going from Thursday to the following Thursday. So I'll have it for an entire weekend. Gear guard damage waiver. Oh, there we go. There we go. Okay. So my apologize, my apologies to um, my apologies to the team at Borrow Lenses. They do have it defined in here. It's just on the product itself. So pay attention to this, guys, where I was talking about what kind of what kind of protection, what kind of insurance do I have on this? So this is my insurance policy. So let me see if it allows me to, to get rid of it. Wow, that's crazy. I can't believe. I can't believe that it would let me get rid of the waiver on that. Now, I don't need the waiver on the adapter, but I do like the idea of the waiver on the camera itself if I dropped it. Or, so the other thing for me, the question is, if it's damaged by UPS, if it's damaged in shipping, am I liable for that damage? And for me, knowing that, you know, if UPS pulls a Jim Carrey from Ace Ventura on this package and beats the crap out of it, and I am unable to prove to these guys that it wasn't me, um, I'm covered. And I only have to put down, you know, a little over 10% of the value, you know, 12% of the value of the, of the unit to cover that damage, right? And then uh, I'm not worried about dropping this because I'm very ginger with stuff like that. Uh, once it's connected to the camera, it's basically going to be sealed in with the lens. And when I take it off, I'm going to put it in and seal it in a protective um, protective bag uh, in my backpack. And my backpack is waterproof. So I'm not worried about damage on that at all. But let's let's go through the options on the insurance piece and see what we could get. So if I got ClearGuard full protection, maximum protection from liability due to unintentional damage or loss, including theft, liquid damage after a 12% deductible. So for $106, I'm protected additionally on theft and liquid damage. Um, that's nice. If I was doing a 90 day shoot, I would do this. If I was doing a 90 day shoot, I would do the full value waiver protection. The deductible is going to be the same. Uh, Cause I, you never know. Uh, in this case though, all I have to do is I know that I'm not, I'm not covered for liquid damage. So I just need to check the weather and make sure that it's not going to be rainy out. And I need to be cognizant of my surroundings that I'm not taking this into any, you know, uh, riverbeds or anything like that. I can't be taking any big risks. I'm not going to have it out on, uh, I'm not going to have it out on a gimbal or anything or a pull extension. So, uh, but if I was shooting a film, I would, I would get the full, insurance value. It's a really good idea. So again, correcting my first statement, we do understand how protected we are. And it is the clear guard. By default, they apply that, which is really smart. I like, I like the business model so far. I mean, you know, these guys, they got to protect their interests. They're sending me a $6,000 camera. So um, let's go to the checkout. And they sent me a coupon. So let me see. Let's see. Choose the shipping option. Ship to home. 
ship and hold at UPS office. All right, let's see how well this works. Standard round trip. Let's see what Honey's got on coupons for it. No, that's not going to work. That's clearly an August coupon. I don't know why Honey's even trying that. Invalid. Yeah, I've kind of figured that. Let me get my coupon that they emailed me yesterday. Um, don't try to exploit this coupon, by the way, guys. This is just a a review video. So uh, I, I'm 90% sure that you're not going to be able to use it anyway, because it's just for me for a one time use. So please don't, you can, you can get this coupon just by signing up on their site and they'll send you a 20% off coupon for a single use. And that's, that's all it's good for, which, which is great. I mean, that's, you know, again, this is a tough business model that they are pushing forward. And, you know, one thing I would say is, is be honorable. Don't, don't treat this like a rental because um, you'll screw up the experience for the next person that needs to, that needs to handle this. I would hope that everybody that's getting this equipment is going to be respectful of it and treat it like it's yours because that's what I intend to do with it. Um, I'm very thankful that these guys are here and that they're going to let me try out different camera rigs. Um, so there's my welcome coupon. And all right, so my total is going to be 350 bucks. I'm going to get to try out the C70 cinema camera for seven days, starting on um, starting on Thursday. And it's great. Look at I really like how intuitive this is. If I change my mind on the days, um, you know, I can give myself more time for whatever reason to um, to experiment with this. So, you know, maybe I look at it and I say, um, you know, the fall colors are going to be changing right about this time. I would really like to have this camera for uh, for footage capture for the for the fall colors. You know, I know that I have a, a good strong tripod and a tripod dolly, so I can take this out to, to a lot of places. I kind of wish that I had a gimbal for it. Although again, the risk of putting this on a gimbal, getting it balanced and uh, is a little unnerving. Um, I kind of want to shoot handheld with this and, you know, and just use the, uh, the stabilization within the camera. And just use the grip really well. I've got a grip handle on it. So if I can keep my body steady and just be strong in the way that I'm handling it, um, it should be good. So ship and hold. And then my UPS office, let's go 84010. Okay, yeah, this is better. This is better. I, I may not have seen um, I may not have seen on the, and Pip says at gmail.com if, if you ever need to email me for anything, keep it professional, please. Don't email me any comments or garbage. Um, I won't read it. But, uh, but yeah, if you do have some business ideas or something and, and they're genuinely fleshed out and you are professional, make sure that your skills are developed. Don't come to me as a, as a scrub because I work very hard to develop my skills and um, so if you do email me with something, make sure that you're, you know, you're well developed and you're well prepared to, to do something um, worthwhile. Uh, okay, so let's look at this. 90th West and 5th South and Bountiful. That's a good location for me. That's close. Monday through Friday. One thing I want to check, okay, Saturday, they do have Saturday, Sunday hours. So if I wanted to, okay, 7 p.m., that's what I wanted to know. So as long as I get this back to the UPS store, my understanding is as long as I get this back to the UPS store by 
7 p.m. on the 23rd, um, packaged in the box and ready to go, then, then I'm all set. So Wednesday night, I'm going to have to get it boxed up, get the label on it, and then, um, and then get over there, probably on my lunch, get over there and, uh, and get that dropped off. Uh, and then I should be okay for this seven day rental to my understanding. So let's look at the blog here and just make sure. Okay. Durations, how it works. Need to be placed through the website. Choose your right arrival date, discover your shipping options, see where to add notes from the order. Okay, so they got a YouTube video here. I like that. The little, they put in the little clicky clicky sounds. At Bar Lenses, we make it easy to place an order for all your photography needs. To begin, you can create an account or dive right in and start exploring our extensive photo, video, and lighting inventories using our drop-down menus to expand or narrow your search for all available and compatible gear. Exploring the list of compatible items is a fun way to discover great lenses you may not have considered before. Already know what you're looking for? Use the search window located in the top left corner. A quick description will pull it right up. It's always a good idea to find out exactly what will be included in your rental to avoid any costly oversights. You can find other compatible gear in our frequently rented with section. To set order durations, you can either select from one of our pre- That's the one thing, you know, uh, I, would, I would probably stress on this is looking at your order and making sure that you, you're getting everything that you want. Like for me, I have some prime lenses. I have some, some decent lenses, but are my lenses um, sufficient for the uh, for the power of this camera body? And and it's a good question, you know, because uh, you know a one point four fifty millimeter isn't bad, and I have an eighteen to fifty five millimeter, but I think it's like a four or five. It's an STM lens, it's a kit lens, um, and then I have a one point eight fifty millimeter. Um, I do have some some macro. Uh, filters, some uh, diopters, macro diopters, and some new, new neutral density uh, filters as well. But it, this has neutral density filters within the camera body. So the question is, you know, if I'm if I'm going to experience this to its fullest, do I want a telephoto lens similar to the one that's depicted there? You know, so. For seven days, that's that looks like a pretty premium lens. Yeah, Canon EF 70 to 200, um, 2.8, and the L, the capital L indicates that it's a you know the best quality lens that you can get in that category. The the pro quality lenses, basically. The the 2.8 aperture um, on a telephoto lens, that's very good, obviously. So you know, that's, that's a temptation to say, you know, I'm going to add $83 to my order. In this case, I'm getting 20% off, but I'm also adding uh, liability, right? So let's continue to, to check out what their, what their actual terms are in this video. Presets or create a custom rental period by typing in the number of desired days and clicking set. Our gear guard damage waiver is completely optional, but can be a real lifesaver. With the duration set, click Add to Cart and either continue shopping or proceed to checkout. Once you've added everything you'll need, follow the prompts and proceed to checkout. Have the perfect cart? Just click the Save to Cart option below checkout and you can have all items saved and ready to go when placing future orders. Selecting an appropriate arrival date can have a big impact on your rental experience. We suggest scheduling your rental to arrive at least one day before you plan using the gear recreationally but for orders too important to take chances, pad your arrival date and give yourself time to test it out by setting it to arrive two days in advance. Extra preparation is worth the peace of mind. Now for shipping. Looking to have your order shipped to your residence? Please keep in mind that a signature is required. 
So for those of you with active lifestyles or regular office hours, having your order set to be held for pickup at a local UPS store may be the way to go. All right, sorry about that. I had to pause. I had uh, had a call come in. Uh, okay, so check to see if your return label for UPS or FedEx and locate the nearest location and their postmark cutoff time. Get a receipt, avoid using mail rooms, drop boxes, and third party uh, facilities. So that's what it is. It's the postmark cutoff time of the day that you're supposed to return it. You have to have it into the UPS or FedEx store before the postmark cutoff time. So I, let me just see if I can look that up from my local UPS store. Um, I believe a quick Google search. So I'm just putting in the name of the city, postmark, cut off. All right, so my store, it opens at 8.30 a.m. Monday. Bountiful, Utah, shop and print here. All right, so this is First South, first West and fifth South and shipping printing closed now, no pickup today, no pickup today. All right, I'll have to do a little bit of research on the postmark cutoff time. Clearly, um, that, that wouldn't be a deal breaker. So, you know, here's what I'm looking at is for the sake of safety, uh, I think what I would do is I would just I would just drop this off the day before, um, considering that the hours the hours go until uh, seven p.m. and the day that I'm supposed to return this, I believe, is a Thursday. So, and I really don't need to run this all the way up to the red line on the rental. So basically, you know, I would select this one, 90th West and 5th South. And I'm going to be returning it the 23rd. So I'd actually take it to the UPS store Wednesday evening, have it there before 7. Then I don't have to worry about getting there before the postmark time on the 23rd. Then my rental period is good. You know, my package is, is uh, safely in their hands. And... Um, and then we're we're all good to go. So let's take a look though. Okay, so I got my damage waiver in here. Let's look at uh, Canon lenses though, uh, EF mount lenses. So if I wanna go back and I know obviously they, they would allow, so let's go Canon. And I do like the Canon EF lenses. I know there's other uh, EF mount lenses, but I know that the Canon brand are Canon brand are lighter, and that's going to help out in this case. But I do know some of the brands are are actually going to provide a better image quality than the Canon. Uh, so why don't we do that? Why don't we just throw that off and search EF lenses? And okay, so we got, I don't need the Metabones Canon extender. $415, wow, that one's nice. Schneider Cinna. Okay, $366, $235 for seven days. I don't know that it's really going to be worth it. 1.5, 35 millimeter, 1.5 cinema lens, uh, $180. See, the thing, 
it's almost for me, I'd rather own my lenses and rent the camera body because with lenses, there's so much glass uh, at stake. And now, of course, you know, my lenses are shipped. My lenses are shipped through, um, through the mail when I buy them anyway. So I'm not saying that there isn't a risk there, but um, let me just look at this. 35 millimeter, 1.4. $57 for seven days. It's not a big improvement though over what I've got, the 55, or sorry, the 50 millimeter 1.4 uh, is the highest quality lens that I have. But this one, this can't, well, yeah, Canon RF, that would work with it because it does have the RF mount and I don't necessarily have to have the adapter on there. So RF, the RF mount 24 to 70 millimeter 2.8 L. So that's a, a premium grade lens. Um, telephoto lens, $93 for seven days. Uh, and if I'm adding the protection on that, I'm probably gonna be close to $150 for seven days. So that's gonna make my order kind of beefy. Um, I don't know that I need to do that for uh, for this test run, if I just want to test the camera out and see what it can do, uh, I'm sure that my 50 millimeter 1.4 will do it justice in a lot of respects. At least I'll be able to see, um, you know, the depth of field and, you know, with some of my other lenses, the image quality I know will be degraded compared to what I could get with these lenses. But honestly, if I'm not doing a, if I'm not doing a shoot that's going to yield me thousands of dollars it doesn't make a lot of sense to rent the additional lens um the one thing though that i wanted to do was compare the canon r5 so you know just again doing making sure that i that i have a good apples to apples and and this is the other great thing i mean i can rather than buying this camera i can try it for seven days and i can try the canon r5 for seven days the Black Magic Pocket Cinema 6K for seven days. Um, so the Canon R5, EOS R5 is $100 cheaper for the seven day rental. Um, that's noteworthy. That's very interesting actually. R5 battery grip. I've heard a lot of good things about this camera. Um, and it'll do 8K, 8K raw. That's really impressive. So 10-bit video, CMOS. Okay, electric shutter, 20 frames per second. That's for photography. The R5 mirrorless digital camera. This is the go-to. I know that one of the filmmakers uses this as his go-to, but it was this up against the C70. And 8K video, Canon Cinema Light recording, 8K or 4K video. I heard that this one though um, gets over gets uh, heated pretty easily. In body image stabilization, eight stops of shake correction. Uh, live AF. Did I miss the the lens mount on this? I thought this was with the R series. I would think that it was a uh, integrates seamlessly with the existing EF and EFS lenses. Okay. Um, it is recommended that you pair this camera with its native RF mount lenses. Okay. So this is an RF mount, just like the Canon C70. It's very important to pay attention to those kind of details, whether you're an RF mount or an EF mount um, or, you know, whatever other standards you have with Sony and some of these other cameras. Uh, but this, yeah, I mean, here's uh, with, with me having the 20% off coupon, I think it's better to get the most expensive option that I'm looking for. I mean, another one for me is the Komodo that I want to try, but I think the Komodo... I believe the Komodo is like $450 for seven days, 464 for seven days. Red Komodo, 6K. 
Oh, uh, you know what? They've got, I wonder what the difference is between these, the ST and the, the ST 6K and the regular 6K. Um, but here's the, the interesting thing, though, is that I believe I can get a lot of the same quality with uh, the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Pro as with the red. That said, though, I do want to know what it's like to shoot with a red camera. I've never shot with a red camera. And I just want to understand operating the, um, you know, the controls and the settings and, and, you know, to see what the quality is like. I'm sure the quality is beautiful. This is an RF mount as well. Uh, passive Canon RF mount with EF adapter support included. So that's good. So this is one I want to try out. And then they have a Blackmagic Pocket Cinema. I'm just kind of giving you a tour at this point. Um, Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Pro. No. Uh, this is not the one I would rent. Don't rent the Pocket 6K. Uh, well, you can if you want. I mean, obviously, but I, I wouldn't recommend the Pocket 6K if you can get the Pro Pocket 6K Pro. So the Pocket 6K is 145 and the Pro is 162. Yeah, I would not, I would not uh, try to save myself money on, on this rental. I would definitely get the Pro version. Um, it's got the ND filters. It's got a longer life battery, more powerful battery. The camera body is uh, sturdier. And um, there's some other features on the Pro uh, besides the, the neutral uh, density filters that are built in. Um, it's also the, the screen, the articulating screen uh, and the longer battery life uh, are all gonna be factors. Now, if you're just casually shooting, just get the, the 6K without the Pro. But if you wanted to do something like a wedding or, or some kind of a live production, I would recommend this. Then here's the something that's really cool too. So I can search Ronin. They see me Ronin. They hate me. Um, let me spell Ronin correctly here. The, uh, the, the website doesn't have to account for my bad spelling. This is good. I really like this website, guys. I mean, you know, the, the masthead leaves a little bit to be desired. I'd probably clean that up. It's outdated by about five years. But, you know, don't take that the wrong way. I'm not calling your baby ugly. I just think you could shrink down the, the logo size and, and pop this up so that you've got more, more real estate um, in, your, in your main body section of the website. But other than that, it's really smart. Um, Everything that I would hope to see is on here. And this is really sweet too. So this is a best boy grip rig for the DJI Ronin 2. Um, let me just see how this comes equipped because if we go into a 90 day shoot, um, this is beautiful. You know what I mean? It's being able to, to equip microphones and to get the camera um, all settled and balanced there, but to have two handles and to carry, you know, you, you've got that top carrying handle and then you've got the two sidebar handles. And then on here, there's, there's also, as far as I understand, there's triggers for your zoom um, as well. So you can have a monitor, a microphone, triggers for the zoom and you have a lot of versatile, versatility, excuse me, uh, when you're shooting because it's articulating. Uh, you can also get these where they attach to a vest and that may be that that back plate right there probably does it attach to a vest. Um, those are a little more spendy, but if you're not looking for that and you're just looking for a casual uh, DJI Ronin, then they do have the, the standard uh, RS2 Ronin stabilizer, which Let's see, there's the Zune uh, Crane 3, and then there is the 
DJI RS2, which I believe this is compatible with the Blackmagic. Yep, there it is. Support for the Blackmagic uh, 6K. Looks like somebody didn't like this one too much. Um, but the Ronin RS2, that surprises me because I've seen really good reviews on this. Uh, the thing about a stabilizer is uh, renting a stabilizer is, is kind of questionable because people usually don't know how to pick these up. They don't know how to balance them. It's a very delicate piece of machinery. Um, you know, there's, there's independent motors uh, keeping the, the camera stabilized. So if the person who rented it before you doesn't know how to handle it, um, that can be a concern. The other thing is, well, this is a $900, um, this is a $900 stabilizer, but, you know, at, at that point, is it worth it to rent it? You know, it's worth it for me to rent the $6,000 camera because then I'm not committed to a purchase, but um, do I want to just own the stabilizer? Like I do my lights, my lights, my microphone, I've got all that for the shoot. So anyways, my review of, um, borrow lenses so far uh, from a from a transparency standpoint I like it um, obviously there's some education and I, I'm gonna I'm gonna dock them some points because because I did have to go to the blog to learn some of the things that I need to learn but other than that I mean they, they did a really good job so I would give it a, an a minus on the the website presentation I think really for me, if I was going to give this an A for a service, um, with these dates at the rental date, well, hold on. Rental deliveries and pickups are made Monday through Friday. See, that's not enough information. You you really want to to take away your customer's anxiety with regards to um, the rental start and the rental end, right? And the, I would put a very explicit um, explainer video on what happens when I receive my order, when does the lease start, and then what happens when I return it. Just specifically covering those two things and then this damage guard. And, you know, for me, it took me about half an hour to flesh those things out and to, to get comfortable with it, but I had to get there on my own. And if someone was not as savvy a shopper as I am to go to the, the blog, not that I'm a genius for finding their blog. Hey, I Googled their blog. Wow. Made, amazing me. <laughs> but, you know, there are people that, that don't want to put in the legwork on that. You know, there are people who are not, who are not engineers. They just, you know, they just want to, they want to play. They want to enjoy the service. So I would, I would take and create a short, short video, like a 90 second explainer video. Um, here's what happened. You, you start your order. If you need to cancel your order, you got uh, 24 hours to cancel it. Give us notice on it. There's no obligation there as long as you cancel within the 24 hour period. And then when you start your order, the first delivery attempt is what starts your lease agreement. And then when you need to return it, you need to return it before the postmark deadline of the UPS or FedEx store where you're returning it. If you don't know what that deadline is, just return it the evening before the deadline is up to make sure that you don't occur, um, incur, I should say, make sure that you don't incur any additional charges. And then select the appropriate level of protection or insurance um, so that you know that you're covered. Again, if I drop this camera, uh, or if it comes damaged in transit, if UPS plays soccer with it, then I know that I'm covered with this $68. I would only be $660 to uh, replace the camera and to uh, basically to make these guys whole on their on their investment. Keep in mind, they're they're sending out their investment to me. They're trusting me, trusting me with it, trusting me to take care of their baby. To give me an experience that um, that I, I couldn't have until I have you know um, other funding for for different projects. You know I can get this experience now. I can give a review of this camera on my YouTube channel. Uh, so this is a really great service. You know please don't abuse it. 
uh, do everything that you can to maximize your enjoyment. You know, when you've got the camera, I mean, you got it for seven days. Heck, you know, if you have vacation time, take the vacation time, but go out early in the morning and do a shoot, go out in the evening and do a shoot, test out the ND filters, go out on the weekends, just go, go hog wild with this thing. Um, you know, get a, a power bank and take out and, and just make sure keep recharging it and, um, you know, playing around with the settings. So uh, anyways, let's see what the checkout page looks like here. Try coupons again. No, I've already got a coupon. I don't need it. Honey is a great service, by the way. In this case, I just, I have a better coupon than what Honey could offer. So I'll do a video on Honey, uh, a separate video on that as well. So discounts and certificates, uh, subtotal. All right, so the Canon C70 with the adapter for the F, the my EF lenses with my insurance and the 20% discount, which they're basically covering the insurance with their 20% coupon. I'm $350 to try this thing out for seven days. That comes out to, what is that, about $50 a day? So $50 a day, shipping it back at my, my convenience. So having this camera at my house for $50 a day, shipping it back at my convenience and having insurance protection on it. Um, guys, I really don't think you could ask for more. I mean, again, this is a great service. Please don't abuse it. Uh, reach out to me if you have questions. Uh, be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Comment below, um, and I'll try to go through if you have any questions in your comments as well. All right? Thanks, guys.